Hey, Skid Row Trash, doing another video tutorial for RPG Maker VX Ace. Uh, I keep doing these things, so here's another one. This one's for um, doing fancy text or like cool looking text in the game. Because uh, normally it just looks regular, so this is how you do it and make it look different than regular. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go in here and show you. For text, what I'm talking about is you add an event and uh, you have them type out text you know center in some stuff here this stuff here this text so here's how you do make it look different than, than how it was there made a couple of these little things to show you what's all this stuff here it's uh, I'll show you go and edit these are the different colors you get so yeah, I put the black background on so you can see them better. So when you use these numbers, you'll get these associated colors. This is 15, it's black, so it shows up normally not on black. But in here, if you hover the mouse for a bit, you'll get a little text screen. It'll tell you basically what these things do. So I'm just going to give a quick run through. This is the color change one. So if you put text here, this is the little color code. This is the number you change for the uh, color you want to choose. You know, if you want to have the red here from 10, you would have C10 and then your text. Uh, so that's how you do that. Um, for the colored text, uh, what else we got here? Uh, you can increase the size of text as well with a backslash and a squiggly colon so here's what that looks like from regular all the way larger larger all the way up like this and each time you put it down it increases the size and it stays that large unless you shrink it so this is regular this is times two times three times four times five uh, for the smaller text you can do the same but for smaller so these this is as small as it gets right here so I don't know if you can even see that. This is on 1080p and you can barely see it. So regular, smaller, and smaller, same thing. Regular times two smaller times three smaller. In here, we have the names and the currency type. Backslash N, capital N, with a two brackets and the number one, two. These are for your characters, for their names, because... Rather than putting in just a name, when it'll come up like this, see? Uh, Eric, you can just enter in Eric here if you want, but if you give the, the player a chance to choose their own name, this is how you would do it. And when it's talking about 1 and 2 is over here, I'll show you what that's talking about. Go into the database. Actors. So actor 1, actor 2. That's what it means. So that number you put is this number one of these, uh, whoever you want their name to appear, you would put in here. And you can give them a name you want right here, but I mean, if you give the person a chance to choose their own name, this, that's how you get it to appear in the text. Also, we have backslash G. That shows your currency type. So our in-game currency, I changed it so it would say bucks. But normally it's just G by default. So what that means, if you wanted to change that, you would once again go back into database and you go to system, right here, currency unit. You just type in what you want here, and then every time you want it to appear in the game, in your text, it's just a backslash G. Um, right here we have icons. So if you want little icons to appear in your text, like say you pick up a helmet, or you want a little helmet to appear or something like that in your text as well. Uh, it's the same icons in your items, so you may as well sometimes. So that, here you can use your little text list if you want. But what it's saying here is backslash I and the brackets again. And then there's a number in here. So how do you know which item is which number? I'll show you that right now. back out again into database and we're looking at 
No. Items. No. We're going into Resource Manager. And we're going to Icons under System. So this is what it's talking about when it has the item numbers. You know, this is probably like item number 50, 40 something. There's quite a few. So if you put ones down the bottom, it'll be whatever the number after this one is. Uh, oh, I know how we can find that. Tools, database, icon. Yes, if we just go into the items and icon here, we can just, where you go and change them, it'll show you the number down here, index. So if you want this shovel, you would have 277. So let's make a shovel up here in this text really quick. I'll go back and edit. 277. So let's make a bunch of shovels up here. And there's three shovels. So that's how you do the icons like that and how you get the numbers associated with each icon. And what else? Uh, these ones here, backslash period, is a quarter second delay when it's uh, displaying text. Backslash in the straight line is wait a whole second. Uh, backslash exclamation, this means the player has to press a button for the text to continue, which can sometimes be all right. Uh, and in the game, when they're doing their text, it'll scroll across like this. G -g 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 like that as it's uh, printing out. So if you want it to display boom all at once, you have to put in backslash and then this like Pac-Man mouth with the body bracket. And that will make all the text after and below display instantly instead of waiting through the scroll. So let's just see this little thing here play out because I have a bunch of waiting times in it. I wonder if we can do that. I'm just going to have it below characters, player touch. So I'm just going to have to walk over it and it should work. So it's right here. So we're just going to walk one step to the right and we'll see if that works. Yeah, you see how the text is waiting a bit and then waiting a bit and waiting a bit as it comes out. That's how you do that. So that's some good stuff for text if you want to have your text different than just the normal basic text. Um, that's the end of this one, I guess.